Hello everybody, today we're going to be demoing Restaurant Maid. Let's go ahead and log in here. Alright, now Restaurant Maid is currently part of our basic line. Um, the software is a pretty good solution for anybody who is very cost conscious and has, you know, the basic needs that most quick serve type restaurants um, would be needing. Um, right now, uh, it does. This this program does have table service functions, but right now they're not really fleshed out enough for most places that uh, use table service. Um, simply because it cannot, uh, it can't handle um, separate server banks and things like that. Um, if you are a place where the servers all use the same cash drawer, and pretty much anybody can ring on anybody else's table and things like that then you can certainly use um, the table service view that you have here where you can you know, ring in tables but it does not separa separate um, uh, the, the checks and tables between different servers at least not in the way that most typical restaurants you know, do um, with self-banking and things of that nature but if you're a quick service restaurant who has basic needs um, such as cash, basic cash management, basic reporting, inventory functions, and kitchen ticket, and print, kitchen ticket printing, um, the software you know should work just fine for you. So we're going to go through some of the things. First, we'll show you go through the interface over here. As you can see, uh, it's a pretty simple, nice layout here. Uh, click on these buttons here, brings up the different categories and the items in it. So I click on food, all my food what buttons would be here. You can click on this to scroll through more. Same thing with drinks, click on that. You can scroll through more drinks over here. Okay, so click on that, rings it up. As you can see the buttons can have pictures as well for any of these buttons. Click on that, ring that up. Cash it out. Say twenty dollars. Okay. Alright, prints a receipt, and if the item has a kitchen ticket, then it'll print the kitchen ticket as well, and on to the next transaction. Let's go through some of the functions and features here. Here's our item entry. Um, as you can see here, uh, you can designate whether this item is going to print to the kitchen printer, or a bar printer, or a second kitchen printer. Really, the second printer can be whatever you want it to. You can designate one or both can tell the system whether or not this um, is something that's inventoried and it'll track an inventory on it. If it is inventoried you can set a low stock alert at a specific level. Uh, you tell it what the tax rate is. Once you put the tax rate in for a specific um, category and class of products it'll automatically copy it you know, in there for the future. Um, if this is something that an employee makes commission on you can put that in there. Supplier name. Save. Got a few different views here for all the items that are in the system. Uh, this can also be exported to Excel or printed for a list of items. It shows your current stock. Another view which shows kind of different information for what you have in stock right now and what items you have. Regular inventory search. Now you should also know that this does have full retail capability in that you can scan uh, barcodes as well and ring up uh, retail items with a barcode scanner. Uh, all entry does not have to be done through the buttons on the screen. Uh, you can make coupons, print coupons, with the reports. Now the reports in the software are relatively basic. Um, you can't have separate shifts. Basically what you ring on each register is total for the day. Um, by regular calendar day, okay? So all your sales before midnight go on one day, anything after midnight's the next day. And um, you can use this on multiple registers. Um, each register can track its own total for the day, but there are no shifts. It's, um, it's cumulative on the drawer for an entire day by register. Um, it's one of the drawbacks that it does have, is that there are no shift reports or anything like that. Um, so this is the main daily report here profit report, business traffic report, low stock report, customized reports is what a lot of people use more than anything else. Here you can run a report that tells you specifically you know this specific product or service and then it gives you either everything in that category or you can click on a detail 
and run a report for just a specific item, specific employee, specific customer, or by specific class or department. So those those are the reports. They're they're basic, but um, they'll do what most places need. Uh, it does support um, a regular pole display, as, reg as I said as well. Uh, the two kitchen printers, um, the quick menu buttons like you have here, very easy to set up and very easy to add pictures. Just put all the pictures in a folder and then just select them and they'll go right in there. Uh, regarding credit card processing, uh, you've got a couple of options here. As you can see, you've got Merchant Warehouse, which is now known as Cayenne, Charger Pro, XCharge, or Mercury. Um, these, are the, these are the systems that will work integrated with the software. You can, of course, however, just use any, any standalone credit card terminal from any, any processor you want. Um, however, we do often recommend that you try going with one of the built-in processors. It's a lot easier. And um, most of these guys, at least I know Merchant Warehouse slash Cayenne and Mercury, um, will typically rate match whoever you ask and whoever you get a quote from. All right, uh, let's see what else we got here. History reports, manager menu, refunds, open cash drawer. It does have a built-in time clock. Okay, lets people clock in and out. And um, I'll show you the employees here. You can see put employees in, put employee number. Um, you can set specific permissions for each employee. So when they sign into the register, they're only allowed to do what they're allowed to do based on what you see over here. Uh, they can be paid hourly, commission, or both. One pay rate. You also have here, here's your time clock where they punch in and out. Uh, customer, you've got a reservations section here where you can just, pre it's pretty basic and that just logs people's reservations. Uh, you can create mailing lists, um, put customers in, uh, gift cards. Uh, the gift card system is not built into the software. You do have to use that through your merchant processor. Uh, it's got a basic accounting system. And the rest is, you know, well, one nice feature here is this, the online help. You always click that. It takes you directly to the software company's website where you can actually watch tutorial videos and things like that. So that's a nice feature. That's built in right here as long as you've got uh, an internet connection. So, um, and that that's basically it. Uh, you know, as I said before, it's got everything that most, you know, small type counter service places need, which is Got your cash management, even got payroll, uh, got kitchen ticket printing, and inventory management. So, you know, it covers all the bases. If you need, you know, something more high frills, obviously we have other software, you know, that has, you know, a lot of different features and a lot, but you can't beat the price of this. This is included um, in our basic systems, uh, and uh, it's, it's a good value for someone, you know, who's just opening up a small place with, um, with you know, minimal needs. Um, any questions, always, you know, feel free to give us a call. Thank you very much.